So we're going to talk here about doing data acquisition off of MyDAC. And in this particular case, we're going to do the entire thing inside of LabVIEW. And in order to do that, we have to use the measurement IO NIDAC MX functions. So if you look at this palette, we have a number of things. The very first thing we have to have is we have to create a channel, okay? The creating the channel tells us where we're going to get the data from, all right? In this particular case, what we want to do is we would like to acquire data from two channels. We want to acquire 500, oops, not 5,000, 500 samples per second, and we want to do it in a 500 sample chunk, okay? So that's what our goal is. So we're gonna start out here with our creating our input. We're going to have an input. Now we, we have to come here, find our physical channels. We do not want task in, we want physical channels. We're gonna right click on that and we're going to create a constant. This is going to allow us to select our channels. So we're going to browse and we're gonna go find my MyDAC. There's my MyDAC. And I'm going to go get AI zero, oops, AI zero and AI one. And I'm going to tell it, okay, so you can see I have MyDAC one, AI zero and one, okay. I also have to define what the minimum and the maximum are. The defaults here are five, plus five and minus five, but those don't work for the MyDAC. The MyDAC uses 10 volts and minus 10 or two volts and minus two. Those are the only two choices. So I've created those, okay? Since we're not doing any custom scaling or anything like that, we don't have to worry about any of the other stuff here at this point, okay? The next thing we want to do is we need to define what we're going to do for our sampling because this gives me my two channels. Now I need 500 samples. So we're gonna to go to our sample mode. We're gonna create a constant. We want finite samples. Our choices are continuous, hardware, single point, or finite. In this case, we want finite. We want to find the rate. We're gonna create the rate. And we want to be 500 samples per second. Okay, and we're going to do create a constant here and we want 500 samples, all right? And then we're going to attach that to this task so that now it knows that these are the channels that I'm going to use here, all right? The next thing we're going to have to do is we want to do our read. So we're going to come over here, we're gonna grab our read and we need to modify it because we have multiple channels and multiple samples, and we're just gonna do, do, do a 2D double here, okay? So I need to connect this task to that so that now it knows, this read says, oh, I'm getting these channels and I'm getting these input parameters every time I ask it to read, okay? We're now going to have to do something with the data. So let's just drop down a waveform chart, okay? And because we've told us we're gonna have two channels, we have two channels worth of data coming out. So we need to split those in half. So we're going to do an index array right here. And I'm gonna drag that down so I have two input or two output sets. And there we go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get just channel zero and it's gonna come over here, okay? And the last thing we need when we're done is we've got to clean up after ourselves. So we're going to clear that task and eliminate it so that it's no longer there. So there's our, our data acquisition task. We're going to execute this. And you can see that I got samples. And let me go set this to zero and, oh, let's set it to a thousand. So you should see that, there we go, we got 500 samples of data and only 500 samples, not more than that, okay? 
Now, if we want to take continuous samples, all right, we're going to take this guy and we're going to put him in a while loop right here, okay? And we're going to make, the, make this so it's create a control. So we have a stop button now, okay? And you can see that what we're doing here is we're getting data from this. We're going to now change him to continuous samples, okay? And I can take this one right here and I can delete him. The reason I can delete him is because in continuous samples, it completely ignores this guy and it uses this one. So I'm going to create a constant here, okay? And you can see that the default is minus one. Minus one says, go get all the samples that are out there, okay? We don't wanna do that. What we're going to do is get 500 samples at a time. So I'm going to enter 500 here, okay? And when I execute this, what we should see is getting 500 samples every second. That's all there is to it. We're gonna go tell it to stop. When we tell it to stop, it'll stop collecting data and it will clean up after itself. That's how it works.